Mr. Eric Donaldson, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You're welcome to Ghana. Oh, yes, man. I come well to Guyana. Ah, and I'm so happy to have you right here in the studios. I never knew a day would come when I would meet you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. We grew up on your music. My mother loved your music. In fact, I loved your music. And your biggest fan in Ghana is sitting right in front of you, and that's me. Yes. So anytime you hear that your music is playing in Ghana, don't bother ask who is playing it. It is this man sitting here called Black Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I've always wondered, now, what was your upbringing like? What was it like, you coming up? Mother, father, were you from a rich family, poor family? From the beginning, what did you think about doing with your life? Well, I cannot differ differentiate the meaning between rich and poor, you know? Mm. Because I know I am a man, and once I have life, I am rich, you know? Mm. But according to Babylon, if you don't have no money, you're poor. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, for me, you know, I grew up just like a simple kid. But I have big ideas. Because I've always been thinking, using my thinking cap. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I grew up just like any other kids, running from here to there, in the river, by the sea, you know. But one interesting thing about me, I used to hang around with a lot of professional people like mm. Parsons and uh, my father was really a person but I hang around with some mechanic mm. some guy who do mason work mm. build house carpentry some good chef and them thing and I really end up with seven different trades you wow know? then I touch the music so I don't forget the other trades but I stick to music right now at what point did you did you um, start to do music well, I start the singing from I was about 16 years old going to school or something like that. Yeah? Mm. But um, at 18, 19, I, I have a group called the West Indians. We sing songs like um, Right on Time and Bring It On Home to Me, Oh mm. Lord, Why Lord. But nothing was going too tough you know, mm. with the group. So the, the group dissolved because of one incident mm. we do a song named bring it on home to me and the group was named the west indian now when we went back in town to check with the promoter his name was jj johnson he changed the name of the group what? to the kilowatts oh kilowatts <laughs> yeah what? and that caused a confusion with you you know both of us and um the rest of guys them never liked it either then so that even caused the group to dissolve. My so I God. stick to it because I know it was my business. I know from a long time. Mm. Because I am the one who's writing the songs. I teach them our money. You know? So I say, okay, group spit, see you. So they went our different ways, you know? And I wow. went my ways, still in the music. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Aaron Donaldson, my guest, right here in the studio. And we are talking. All right. So when did you have your very first big break? Well, the first big break was in 1971. I wasn't born. Oh, wow. Well, that's why I came with Cherry O' Baby, you know? Ah. 1971. 71. Yeah. I remember I spoke with Rita Marley the other day and said, who is Eric Donaldson? Is it Cherry O' Cherry O' Baby singer? I said, yes, that's Eric Donaldson. So when is he coming to Ghana? Unfortunately, Rita Marley is not here. I'm sure she would have been one of your biggest fans. I, I know mean, Rita. Yeah. yeah. Ah. How do you know her? Well, I know Rita too. They used to have a record shop, I think it's on B Sand Street. And they, and first of all, they used to record for Coxon. Mm. So I used to go to Coxon's record studio most time, looking at break also. So that is where I met Rita mm. and Bob Marley. And what is interesting, Coxon did decide to give me a break for the recording of a song called One More Kiss. Wow. So, but um, we record the song, mm. um, but he used it as a sound clash music, you know, them style to kill other songs. Mm, mm. But when I was recording this song, there was a line in of it that I was saying, um, please let me hold your hand and you will understand. And Bob was there and Bob said, why don't you say, 
please let me take a taste and to feel your warm embrace. Wow. So I use that line in the song. And wow. eventually I change the song. No, don't really change the song, but I do it over and give it the title, Watch What You're Doing To Me. Ah, that's what I played earlier. Yeah. Right? So I still say, well, Bob play a part also, mm. helping me to get a song together, you know? Wow. How about Joseph Hill culture? You happen to come from the same parish as him. Joseph Hill. Yeah, um, yeah, Joseph Hill. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good friend of mine. Very good friend, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about your longevity. A lot of reggae artists don't really live too long. You have lived 75 years. What's the secret? Life is the secret. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Life is the secret. Yeah, that's mm. what keeps me going, man. Mm. Yeah. What do you eat? What do you drink? What do you smoke? Well, I smoke. My expensive cigar, at really. Wow. Because one time they in Spanish town, they want to have those little split there. And when I go to the court, <laughs> <laughs> the policeman was making propaganda all over the place that I was smoking ganja in the courtyard. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> it was nothing like that. So when I went to the court, the judge charged me. One hundred dollars. <laughs> wow! And let me go <laughs> for smoking cigar or smoking. For smoking my expensive cigar. Expensive cigar. That's the marijuana. I you know, know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> fire! 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 fire. <laughs> now, how have you been able to stay out of trouble? Out of the. I mean, every time we read about reggae artists, this one has done this dancehall artist. How have you been able to stay away from all these troubles? Well, a man is a man, you know, each of us have our own way of thinking, you know. And I really program my mind closer to the Almighty God, which is me and my imagination. Mm. And I could have done a lot of things that is unhealthy, mm. but I think before I do, and I, I can see trouble from afar, you know. Mm. So I just keep myself with the inspiration of Jah Almighty. Interesting. Keep away from trouble when I can, you know. I know the crowd of people that I'm supposed to be dealing with. I know the crowd of people that I'm supposed to stay away from. Mm. Yeah. What's the biggest trouble you have ever gotten yourself in as a reggae artist? I wonder if I can remember that. Mm. <laughs> the biggest trouble... Boy, I can't remember I get myself in no trouble that is so big, you know. Away from, oh, this is one. Good. There's a song I have called Wandy mm -hmm. Bolas. I know that song. You know that song? Mm, I know it. Well, I was on my way to a place called Top Hill mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And the disc, the re registration disc of the car mm -hmm. wasn't on the window. But I uh, just licensed the car, so I put it in the pocket. And just forgot to put it on the, on the glass. Mm -hmm. So when I reached this place called... Wandy Bolas. Mm. Um, there was a plaque in the city giving you a history of Wandy Bolas. Mm. That he was, I think he was from Spain. Mm. Mm. He was teaching the black people in Jamaica mm. to speak Spanish. The English never liked it and they beheaded him. So his history was there. Mm. So... As I reached there, I, was, I stopped and was reading, you know, the history. And this policeman come out and look on the car and said, where's, where's, where's the this? I said, I have it, man. He said, where it is? It's supposed to be on the car. Mm. So I said, I have it inside the pocket. And he said, no, no, no. I am going to charge you for it. You're supposed to have it on the car. Not in wow. the car. Wow. What said it's in the car, man? And he said, no, put it on the glass. It's mm. supposed to be on the glass. Okay. Mm. The guy take me over the station and lock me up. I was traveling with one of Burning Spear friend <laughs> called mm. Philip Fuller, do write song with the Burning Spear. Mm. So I was in jail, might be a hour pass, and I said, boy, I have to get out of this jail right now and try to get some people to come and bail me. Mm. Well, this gentleman come to bail me. But when he came, we couldn't find the police who locked me up. He went away. My God. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to fire, have to fire, 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 for another fire. couple of minutes, you know, before I, I get out. Well, that that really embarrassing to me at that time, you know. Mm. So 
that that was a big trouble. Yes, it yes. was. But anyhow, I went to the court and the, I said the judge run me out of the, the courthouse. Because I don't say run me out because he said, Mr. Donaldson, where's the, the this? I said, I did have it in the car, Your Honor, but <laughs> I just forgot to put it on the glass. And he said, Listen, don't come back in this court. <laughs> oh my God, up there. You can go home. <laughs> Wandy Bolas. Here we go. Yeah, man, Wandy Bolas, man. Right here in Wandy Bolas. Yeah. Seems as. So we write this song immediately. Right here in Wandy Bolas. Seems as if I am a prisoner. Although I try to explain the Babylon say all is in vain. You know? Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Oh my God. So my guest in the studio is Eric Donaldson, legendary Jamaican singer, 75 years young, and uh, he was born in Kent Village, uh, just a few, um, you know, moments away from a place called Bog Walk. What? In St. Catherine. Eric Donaldson is my guest, right? Tell us to Eric, tell me, um, Wallace, somebody, what is the worst thing you heard about your music? Somebody tell you something, maybe at a time that you are beginning, or any any time within your music. Well, I used to be among a group of people. Mm. I call them friends, you know. Mm. Before I start singing, we were good, good friends. Eat together, go to the party together, you know. But from I start singing, mm. I I I used to have them around me just the same way. They cook, cook, heat, cook, cook, heat, until at one stage, mm. I find out they were drifting, drifting, drifting away. When I check it out, the whole scenes, a lot of them were envious. And because some of the songs that I was singing, they start to say I'm singing song about them. Wow. I said, no. I am singing songs because these songs are, are, are things that is happening. I am not singing songs about you people. And because of that, you know, the friendship with all those people, you know, just break up. My God. Knowing that I used to have them around my place, they go they get in trouble. I have to free them out of jail, you know, go to the court, have to pay money for them. They lick the man on the street and them thing, crash car. And I am the one behind them to get them out of trouble all the time. So I, 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 I look back and say, boy, this cannot work. So I really separate myself from them. Wow. So they say, it's all right, Mr. Eric Donaldson, you switch. Mm. You get rich and switch. Wow. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's not nothing like that. It's their attitude, mm. you know, because I say. Did you get rich? I don't know what is rich. <clears throat> that is the thing about it, because... If I have 10 or 20 million dollars, there's a guy who have 30 million. Mm. So who is rich? From ah. who is poor? Well, it is you very know? true. Yeah. It is very true. It's very yeah. true. Well, I think that we need about five hours because, in fact, the questions I have in my head for you, but I have signals that you have a next interview. So what I'm going to do is to cut this one really, really short. But honestly, I need five hours with you because we've been waiting for this time all this while. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to let you go. But Hans Across Africa, yeah, you're coming to play for Hans Across Africa and that's going to be on Saturday at the National Theater. Okay. What song are you beginning with? What? What song are you starting with? Well, uh, da, 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 da. I think I will start with a song called Control Your Temper. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to be doing Bring It On Home? Uh, we didn't have that on the list. Interesting. It's one of my favorites. If, how Who I... knows? Maybe all the show go, I could give you a cappella. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Whoa. I would love that a cappella on stage. <laughs> right. uh, yes. And how much would I have to pay for that a cappella? Because you didn't plan to do it. No thing at all. Interesting. <laughs>
goose pimples, man. I get some goose pimples around me. This is a song that is it original to you, Eric? Uh, this is a Sam Cooke song. A Sam it's a Cook. cover version, yeah. Ah. But this is the song that caused the breaking up of the West Indian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the West Indian singing such a nice song, I couldn't see why J.J. Johnson changed the name of the group without even letting us know and call it the Kilowatts. Kilowatts, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Hands across Africa, the whole Ghana is ready for you. I am ready. Ah, oh. the whole Ghana is ready for you, young yeah. and old. Everybody's coming up. Yeah, man. My whole heart, soul, and body is ready for you, Ghana. How has the reception been for you? You eating good? Well, the reception was good huh? because at the airport, a lot of people greet me at the same time, taking pictures and things My like that. My God. You know? I say, oh, this is good because I, they appreciate, um, the approach w was okay, you know? Interesting. Yeah. We are looking forward to having you again. Are you coming again? It all depends on what the promoter says, you know? Mm. I don't know what promoter is going to be, but I am ready anytime such person is ready. So, hands across Africa, Saturday is the big day. His Excellency, Todd Wicks, is coming all the way from St. Lucia. He's sitting right here with me. You can see him in the camera. He's not going to speak. He's going to be speaking tomorrow. His Excellency only speaks when the table is set with some, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be speaking oh my god have mercy tomorrow we're going to have him at the same time 4 p.m he's all the way from saint lucia check his catalog huge oh my god have mercy of course we are also going to have diana right from jamaica we have rock river from jamaica from ghana we have black rasta we also have ochami kwami we have kufi sapon we have miss v ah she hasn't performed in a long while on a commercial stage she's going to be here we are also going to have the Vibration Kings playing some of your favorite tunes. Of course, Elon Bini would also be there to capture everything and then digitalize it. How you mean? <laughs> He's going to be there. Eric, are you looking forward to a, uh, a collaboration with some artist around? Have you been uh, approached? I didn't have that in mind, no. But did you know that I am one of the first artists to do collaboration wow. in Jamaica? Mm. Yeah, 1971 and Cherry Baby came out. Wow. They do collaboration with Uri, Iri. Wow. Um, Dennis Al Capone. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. Interesting. UB40 also covered Cherry O, Cherry O Baby. Right. Where well, you paid for it. Did they pay you for it? I keep that under the mat. Under the mat. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> under the mat. The other day, the other day, some artist told me that UB40 covered his song and was never paid anything. So I, I thought you would say it so that it would be in the news tomorrow. Eric Donaldson said UB40 didn't pay him anything for covering his song. UB40 made money out of you and a number of your songs were covered. All of my songs were covered by the PRS. Ah. Okay. So, I mean, people talk a lot of things that they don't know, you know. Mm. Because sometimes some people come to Jamaica to check for Eric Donaldson and guys will tell them that Eric Donaldson is dead. Interesting. <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah, things like that happen. So people try to put you down no matter what category you are in, up or down at all times because people are envious, mm. bad mind, godful, you know. Wow. Yeah, and there's a lot of those people around. Interesting. Right. So all the songs you be forty covered, are you happy? Of course I'm happy. I wish they could cover some more. Wow, it means and that it's not you be forty alone. Rolling Stone do a version also. So if I want to cover a song of yours, do I need to pay you money? You don't have to pay me because you can sing the song. Once the song is already recorded, you don't have to pay no one. Mm. Do it. Because you're the right and the heart and once you join the society that the performers rights no matter what they do, they collect money and they, you get money. Ah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what, have you sued any artist yet? No, not. Not even but once. right now I have a big company that I have them in the court. Oh, you have them in the yeah, court? The big dynamic sounds is called in Jamaica. Ah. I have this album called Cherry O Baby. Yes. And they put it out with some people in Portugal and put, add 15, add five songs to the 10 songs, make 15 and change the name of the album. Oh my God. To, to, to love up the common people. 
So we are in battling over that, you know. Yes, but love yeah. of a common people is one of your songs, right? Yeah, it's by the um the wind stands. Mm. It's also a cover version. Mm. But I did it my way. Mm. You know? Mm. Different from the wind stands. People all, always asked me when I was coming up that why are Eric Donaldson's songs normally shot, shot? Some one is two minutes, five seconds, one is one minute, forty eight seconds. The the, man, yeah. The, the shortest song I have is two minutes thirty seconds. No one minute. <laughs> because at those time you, you know, three minutes they used to say all right. Yeah. Three minutes for a song. Yeah. Sometimes I go two minutes fifty, two minutes, you know, two minutes forty anyway. Yeah. Because what I think, when you do it short, they have to play two times. It, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Ah. Well, uh, have you heard this this one? This song that I'm about to play. Tell me if you have heard it. Yeah. The first time you're hearing this, I hear it. Oh, already. All right. Yeah. In this studio? Not in the studio. I think oh. I hear it on um. Where I hear it? Maybe on a radio, maybe on YouTube, maybe. But that I, I hear it. You like it? It sound good. <laughs> this is signal no version of it also. I, I, but I can't tell which one is busy signal. You know? Yeah, this is Busy Signal and a Caribbean artist called Patrice. Yeah, man. Mm. I know it, man. So I don't have to run down a guy and see you home. You're nothing. The PRS will just apprehend whatsoever it's supposed to be. Ah, they pick yeah. it up. Yeah. Mm. If you had the opportunity to do any of your songs again, which one would you do? <laughs> 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 well i think i've already done the song that i'm supposed to do you know good but i am moving on to other songs you are but not going to repeat any of your songs i don't see myself repeating another song wow you know mm. yeah. wow i mean the job is already done mm. i leave it to you or uh, you'll be 40. Two more questions and I'm done. What's yeah. your happiest moment? Time writing the song, time singing the song, or time performing it on stage? On stage is the best time for me because I don't take time to write song. Mm. I will be walking up and down for six months, two months with an idea in my head and mm. music. And I complete songs in my mind before I write. Wow. You know, so sometimes a song will take me like six months, four months, all a year, you know? And sometimes a song does hit you so like that in a couple of minutes. Lyrics is there, everything is there. Mm. Yeah. Have you been contacted by any of Jamaica's top dancehall artists for a collaboration yet? Mm, and away from Dennis Al Capone and Uri, Hi Rai. Um, this guy, what's his name? My bad man friend, I can't remember his name. Bounty killer, man. Bounty killer. One time world. he called me, wanted me to do a special and some shows. So there are some show line up and them thing. But <laughs> when he tell me what he want to pay, <laughs> I said, no, Bounty, don't worry, man. I I not going to work, you know? <laughs> because those said that guy is really Confucius, man. <laughs> you can't work with <laughs> He can work with them guys so easy, man. It's a problem, man. Why well, he was paying something small? Way so below small. What? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> fire! 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 fire. <laughs> my my, God. But, but he's my friend. I don't envy him. We're okay. It's just me. I could not agree with this business, you know? Yeah. Some people have had an order of merit. Some people have had an OD in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. You have not had any yet? Of course. Why? I have got my order of merit. Order of distinction. Oh, okay. Yeah. From the Jamaican government? Yeah. Oh, interesting. One year ago. 
Ah, that's how come it it it, it escaped me. Yeah, oh man. yes, I remember. You yeah, got man. it. Yeah, ah, man. you yeah. got it. Yeah. All right. Elombini is not going to forgive me if I keep asking you, but you can see that I have a million more questions to flow. You have a smoking pipe as your um, necklace. Are you yeah. a heavy smoker? That's my chillum. Wow. It represent me and to make you know I understand that I am a smoker. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Eric Donaldson, my guest, he's going to be performing at Hans Across Africa. Lord God have mercy. Look, a million more people would like to come and watch you. What do you want them to carry away when they come? What would you want them to carry away with them? Right now, I bring love, you know. Mm. And that is the only thing I have got to give them to take away. Yeah, man. Wow. Would you accept a Ghanaian citizenship? The president asked me to ask you this. <laughs> well, I don't know because I am a citizen in Brazil. I ah. am a citizen in Jamaica. Wow. And I don't know if I could be a citizen here. Because that would be, I, I got to split down myself in three parts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Finally, Eric, <laughs> before you leave, um, you've been doing reggae music all this while. Yeah, yeah. People have loved you and they continue to love you. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. all that. Yeah, man. Do you have a favorite African reggae singer? Lucky Dube. Which of his songs? Plenty of the songs, but Prisoner. Prisoner. Daddy, wherever you are. Remember me? Oh, yeah, man. I, I was the first man that played Lucky, rock, long, Lucky Dube in Jamaica. Wow. Because I went to South Africa when it was now. Just about two years before apartheid abolished. Mm. And they didn't allow me to go on the stage. Wow. Because what they say, the song that I was singing was enough to lead the Africans to war. Mm. So all I did was some workshop interviews and stay about two weeks over there and come back to Jamaica. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Finally, we are done. Are you a family man? How many children do you have? How many wives do you have? There is no wife. Ah. But in Babylon way. Mm. But in my way, you take a woman, you could call her your wife without putting a ring on his finger. Ah. Yeah? Mm. I have maybe eight or nine kids. I have to count my finger mm. and do a lot of deep meditation to remember how much. <laughs> <laughs> you have lost count of the number of children you have. <laughs> fire! 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 fire. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, <laughs> uh, I would like to thank you so much, Eric. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would like to say thank you so much for coming. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you to invite me here also, you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am sure when everything is done, we're going to sit down and do a five-hour beautiful thing, yeah. which, which will go across the world. Everything you want to know about Eric Donaldson. No because, problem, man. Yes. No problem. You have a huge fan base have you been to some countries where you are bigger than bob marley in terms of uh fans i i would know what i've i've been to some country where bob is big and it seems as if we are rubbing shoulder to shoulder wow. in that type of bigness you wow know? like in brazil brazil bob is big um yeah brazil mm -hmm. is one of the places that bob is big and i am huge in Brazil. Bigger than Bob. Yeah. Really. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Apart from Brazil? Well. Africa? Many African countries. I've been to um, Nigeria and go a few um, cities in Nigeria. Uh, like um, Lagos, Anisha, across the river state. Um, I can't remember. Kenya, them places. Yeah. Why is African reggae music not as big in Jamaica as Jamaica reggae is big in Africa? I couldn't tell you that, but I know that a lot of African music is playing in Jamaica now. And oh, I see the music, all the music 
that we hear is coming out of Africa. If you listen to them perfectly. Soka. Mm. Everything mm. is from Africa. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Finally, are you a Christian or a Rasta? I don't know who you call a Christian. Christian, Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Rasta well, is Eilis Lassi. Well, I, I don't worship Jesus Christ. Okay. You know? For, for, for two reasons. More hmm. than two reasons. But listen to this. The Bible that they give you to write, to read, who's supposed to cleanse you and make you holy. When I opened the preface of it, it said, this book was translated out of the original tongues and with former translation, diligently compared and revised by Her Majesty's special command, King James, mm. appointed to be read in churches. Mm. So I see that book is not for me. Oh. It's for people who go to church. That's the Bible. It's a con. Mm. Yeah. The Bible is a con. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Then in Genesis 1, mm. in the beginning God created the, head of the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth was without form mm. and void. That means there was nothing. Mm. And darkness upon the face of the deep. Mm. And God said, mm. Let there be light, mm -hmm. and there was light. Mm -hmm. Now tell me something. Mm -hmm. Where was that person who here when God said, let there be light, and there was light? That mm -hmm. means he was there before God then. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm trying to say? That's right. That story is fictitious. It's oh. not true. All Nothing right. go that way. Okay. Yeah. So what's your spirituality like, Rasta? Well, I believe in me. Ah. It's me and my imagination. Mm. Sin, because I know the spirit of God dwell within man. Mm. Sin, Bob Marley tell you that Almighty God is a living man, mm. but it's for you to understand how, because this head is the powerhouse, mm. and in this head everything is in this head. Mm. And if you focus your brain mm. through these corridors in, in, in your mind, mm. in the crystal ball, mm. miraculous things happen, man. Interesting. Yeah. And I find God within myself mm. and I make it work. He work for me because momentarily I talk to him. And if I sit down and, and I am thinking, I know that is a supernatural God Almighty I am reasoning with. I am not talking to myself. Mm. I mm. ask question and I get answer. Mm. Boy, can you believe that I have three more minutes to leave the studio? I think Satan is on duty today. He's tuning the <laughs> clock and just running my time fast, fast, fast. <laughs> well, in fact, I had three million more questions for you. Unfortunately, we have to go. Please say something to the people out there. Well... People in Ghana, listen this man. Don't make the powers that be, which is the Christian philosophy, drive you out of your mind, or drive you out of yourself. Because a person who is not in his own self is like a city that's been broken down and have no walls around him to protect it. Stay in yourself. You understand? Yeah, man. Thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate you. And we're going to be there. Ah, National Theater. Hey, it's starting from one in the afternoon exposition all over the place until artists start coming on stage. We're going to be rocking the whole day till the next morning. Make sure. And remember, it takes only 1,600 people. Get your tickets online. And if you don't get your tickets, ah, don't blame me. Eric is going to be performing live and many more such artists. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yes, sir. Guidance yes, sir. and one protection. Love, one him, one God, one destiny. Bless it.